system of severe storms came and went, and many counties throughout the state are assessing the damage left behind before the next wave hits. Fossey Prokos was in Pulaski County with a look at some of the destruction. First round of storms were pretty intense, hitting southern counties just after one Sunday afternoon. Estimated winds reached over 60 miles per hour in some spots. We've had some lingering problems and still do. We still have some some limbs, some trees on some power lines that's still causing some issues, but uh, because both RECC and KU are just covered up right now, it's just a matter of time before they can get to it. In Laurel and Knox counties, trees were ripped out of the ground, electrical poles were snapped in half, and parts of buildings were ripped apart. There are numerous reports of downed trees, downed utility lines, and structural damages along with uh, several power outages throughout the county. A survey team with the National Weather Service is expected to be in Corbin near Lynn Camp Schools to determine if a tornado touched down there. Roughly 70,000 outages have been reported across the state and some residents in Pulaski County County had to be rescued from their home as electrical wires trapped them inside. We had one in particular uh, just south of here that uh, a tree fell across the power line and got the house and so we had to make arrangements to get those people out of that house kind of an atypical fashion uh, but we got them away from there and uh, finally RECC got out there got the power cut. As of now one person has been confirmed dead in Louisville from Sunday severe weather. First responders and road crews across the state have begun the cleanup process. We're going to continue to monitor the situation uh, from the Emergency Operations Center uh, as we have been doing all, all day since we were first notified of, uh, of the severe weather uh, earlier today. Officials say the best way to be prepared is to be weather aware.